Imagine I could make you be someone and you don't have to have all the problems from your past and you're gonna play a character that everyone's gonna love and that character's gonna just take you right to where you wanna be. Are you gonna lie to me and tell me you're not gonna take that guy? My name's Gavin Bain uh, and I'm a Scottish rapper who conned the music industry by pretending I was a Californian rapper. To put some context to it, I find myself in Dundee um, studying and first day I meet this guy, Belly. But he's at the other end of the spectrum. He's who I want to be. He's who I could be. And I could be cool if I had this guy's confidence. He's into rap, I'm into rap. They were like rapping to each other and we started a rap group. And then we see this thing online that says, are you the next Eminem? This audition in London. So we take the 13 hour bus journey down. We get to Covent Garden super early in the morning. The queue is going around the block twice. We get into the audition and so we go on, I start to rap and then he just stop us. After about 30 seconds, guy was like, look, there's Scotland and there's rap. We can't sell Scottish rap. You will never, ever make it in rap. You know, and we're just like, fuck. He's like, you sound like the rap and proclaimers. For me, that was like, you've just destroyed me. You have no idea, but you just literally destroyed me. I can go and kill myself right now. Like, that's what you've done here. So for me, it was just like, I kind of knew what I had to do. I'm going to be American. So I take one of the tracks and I record it again in American. And then I uploaded it on a competition on BBC. We turn on a Radio 1 and there's our song. It's just playing on heavy rotation at one. And I'm like, what? And I'm just saying it like, because in my head it's like this, I can see this, right? We're gonna go back down to London with these tracks recorded in American and we're just gonna be American. Syllable, brains, both met in the same skate scenes, punk rock scenes, and hip hop scenes just back in the day. Two LMCs. Yeah. Uh, we basically decided to join forces together and take over the planet. But we had no idea of how the industry worked, but we were going to learn that the hard way. So we were like, let's go down now. We have to be in, all in. We are Syllabone Brains. Whatever that is, let's make it up, let's improvise, but we are crazy as fuck. So we did this show, chasing each other around with knives on stage, jumping off things, battle rapping the crowd, ripped the fuck out of them. Afterwards, backstage, head of the label that we end up signing to is just like, what the fuck is this? Where have you guys been? Can we tell them this elaborate fucking story? You can sell this. Californian skater dudes, best friends with Eminem, on the run for burning their school gym down. And it's like, what? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. You know? And so he's just like, obviously you're best friends with Eminem. You, he must have taught you how to do that. And we're like, yeah, yeah, he taught us how to rap, yeah. This is it. This is a great sellable story. Now let's get naked. Uh, well, California pretty much where we Well, you can't put in LA. Yeah, we yeah. met in that's where we met. Well, not in LA, but not in LA. It's small place. Go what? Hammett. It's like in San Jacinto, sort of like. Yeah, I know. Like, well, yeah. the area. Yeah, that's in the San Jacinto area. Yeah, yeah. 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 We tell him we don't get a bed for anything less than 70 grand. And he's just like, all right, 70 grand each. And we're like, all right, now we're being fucking payrolled by the most powerful guy in the music industry. And on the day that we sign to Sony, our lawyer, he finds something fishy, that why would we not just show him our passports? So we'll come back to him. <laughs> but he put us in a studio straight away. This side of us is Muse, that side of us is Depeche Mode, and then across from us is So Solid Crew, and everyone's popping their heads and you hear the crazy lyric that we just said, like... Yo, this is the story of a skillful assassin For a beauty queen, thinks she's still in a passion After Jenny Aniston aggressively attracted me Her ideal job would be a laundry mannequin Acting so unattainable Waiting for Prince Charming to win her tailor dough Existence drinking Prince and guys in an instance That is little princess equipped for goodness Always open, she probably be a slogan You know that, tell me What are you Right. That's it, we've got the record, give it to Sony, we've done our part, we've got five songs on here, and before the next release window, 
um, MTV says, we want to pick them as the top five artists. That was it. We were now going to go on MTV. Fuck, how do we go and lie to an entire nation? Like, this isn't a part of the plan because this could all just go horribly wrong. So we come back off tour and our manager tells us, you're not coming off tour. You're going to go back on the road with your best friend. What do you mean my best friend? And he's like, oh, M&M's in town. And they picked you to, to tour with them. I'm kind of like, oh no, we're not best friends with him. Yeah, got, a call, got a phone call this morning saying, uh, come and support D12, which uh, kind of wasn't the, <laughs> kind of wasn't scheduled. But uh, yeah, first gig with the band, a few thousand people. Nothing to worry about. We all shit ourselves. Like, let me just remind you who we actually really are, you know? And like, everyone's like, oh no. Like, as soon as we turn up to the venue, Everyone's gonna say, they're gonna be like, who the fuck are these guys? Okay, we're all on the stage, first hey. Academy. They were on stage sound checking, and we just walked on stage, cuddled them, acted like we were the best friends they ever had, and they played along, because I guess they're thinking like, all right, we must have met these guys before. And we came off stage, jumping up and down, and it was probably the best moment in my career. Come off stage, we're backstage, everyone's celebrating in the dressing room. Me and Bill are kind of outside just having a moment with each other. And now we've spent like a million in a year just having the greatest time of our lives. And we're just like, that's it, like we did it. Like we're here. We've gone from the bedroom making demos to the road with Eminem. Like there's, there's no way higher than this. Like of course we want to do this, but this is it. Like no one can take this from us, you know? And then who comes along? the lawyer, and he just tells us, I know, I know who you are, I know everything. And he's like, you have to come clean. They'll sue you for all that money. Like, do you have the million? Like, where's the money? Where's the money? And so we just turned around to him, we're like, dude, we know what the fuck you're talking about. But now we get to the point at nights where we'd start fighting each other. We try to kill each other. That's how bad it got. I'm not really me anymore, and Bill is a horrible, exaggerated version of himself. We're, now we're two monsters, now we're just being cunts. And we have that fight, and he's just like, fuck it, I'm out of here. But I'm now stuck with a 50 grand tax bill. How do I get out of this trouble now? So I start doing whatever, I'm like this rapper. <laughs> one, one minute I'm hanging out with Madonna, and then a few weeks later, donating sperm? to make money and I'm taking out old women and getting paid to like take women out. And then I'm in the fucking job center. And it's just like, how the fuck did this get here? You know? I was at my kind of lowest and I attempted suicide. And when I came out of the hospital and I put a gig on and I just grabbed the mic and I'm like, I tell everyone to cut the music. And I just say, I'm, I'm, I'm not Brains McLeod, <laughs> I'm Gavin Bain and I've never been to America. And it's just like silence. Some people were like, you are a fucking genius, you know? And some people were like, you are a fucking cunt. You can get away for a while lying, but the reason that Bill and I were able to actually pull off what we did was because we actually were being real on stage. Because we were those guys. We just found a vehicle to allow them to be who they can be, you know? If you're just faking it, or you're just saying that you're dope, who gives a fuck? 